Hey friends, in the last three weeks, three different people from three very different walks of life have uh, mentioned to me the words self-care, self-hyphenated care, and um, it's caused me to reflect a little bit on what self-care actually means, and this will of course mean different things to different people. The first person um, recognised that they weren't taking enough time looking after themselves and administering self-care towards themselves and um, was finding it a challenge to find time to take care of themselves. The second person of a different generation, older generation, then freely admitted that they had not uh, taking care of themselves throughout their life so far and they were kind of paying the price right now uh, some joint issues weight issues um, and some other health issues along with that they had more or less devoted themselves to their families and their loved ones uh, up until this point the third person, who incidentally is a long-term student of mine, um, mentioned that they already had a, a daily established self-care practice. I didn't go into the details of what that was, but they mentioned that they needed to add another piece just for five minutes a day to deal with a, a health issue that they were experiencing. So three very different um, approaches, if you like, three very different discussions, but all uh, with the word self-care in them. And uh, this caused me to reflect on my own self-care practice, um, which I think I'm pretty good at. I have been practicing self-care for many years, ever since I've started doing yoga, really, I became very interested in what I was putting in my body, how I was behaving and reacting to people, lots of self-inquiry, um, you know, uh, from very, very small changes to my diet to much bigger, larger um, things that I have done for my own personal, physical, mental and emotional wellness. And um, as I mentioned, self-care will mean different things to different people and people will have different approaches to what self-care is. There is also probably a whole generation perhaps or even um, a whole group of people who may feel self-care is almost selfish. Um, certainly I think women quite often are conditioned to think that self-care is selfish and that they should be always putting the family first and other people first and I think certainly my mother's generation or my mother's cohort were, were kind of in that um, mindset. Uh, this, I think self-care is something that um, we're getting better at as, as culturally and as, um, as humans as we go on and we certainly recognise now and there is certainly evidence to show that when we look after ourselves we are in um, a much better place to be able to take care of others. Um, be more compassionate and um, empathetic. So uh, I was wondering what your self-care practice might be, what little things that you may do for your own personal self-care, um, taking care of yourself uh, pieces, whether it's reading a book or having a hot bath or doing your yoga practice, meditating, riding a bike, working out, running, whatever it might be. And I also wanted to mention, and I'm really excited to mention this, that I am offering a one-off class, one-off in-person class. This will not be online 
purely for self-care purposes. It will, I'm calling it relax and renew. It's not, you know, uh, that interesting a title, but it's essentially what we will be doing. We will be spending time easing some of the tissues of the body that habitually become very tight and congested. And uh, we will also be looking at breath work and a delicious guided meditation. It's a 90 minute class. It will be held on February the 24th. It's a Friday from 6.30 until uh, 8 p.m. And the cost is $17 for Tracy Drake Yoga membership, uh, online membership people and $25 for non-members, everybody else. And I also have um, a separate rate for the Greater Peterborough Business Group people. So if you are interested in joining this class, and I hope you are, it's gonna be, it's gonna be yummy. Um, drop me an email, drop me a text, get in touch with me, give me a call, and um, I will put your name down on the list. Obviously, payment will secure your spot. E-transfer to Tracy Drake Yoga at gmail.com would be perfect. Thank you. And uh, I really hope you take this opportunity to invest a little bit of time in you, an hour and a half, purely for you. Rest, relax, and renew. Thank you for listening. And here's to self-care. If you're already doing it, keep it up. Thank you. Namaste.